with Jesus. Good morning, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Uh, we're still in uh, 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 this series called Parables with Jesus. And today we are talking about the parable of the talents. That's what we're talking about, the parable of the talents. So we're still in the series. If you haven't watched the other ones, go back and, and, and begin to watch them from the beginning or, or just go through them. All right. I believe they're going to bless you. I believe this one today is going to bless you. But before we do, uh, uh, share this with somebody, all right, uh, uh, because I believe it's going to bless you. But like I said, you don't want to keep those blessings all to yourself. We want to share blessings. Amen. And when we share blessings, God will bless you even more. So share this message with somebody. You never know who is going to need to hear this. Amen. So it's our job just to share the word of God. Amen. But let's get into uh, 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 before we get into it. Let's pray. Dear God, we just thank you for everything that you're doing this morning, Lord God. We thank you for everything that you're doing in our lives, Lord God. We thank you for the miracles that you're working out that we do not see, Lord God. The things that you're keeping us safe, the things that we do not see, those dangers that you're keeping us safe, Lord God. We thank you for those things, Lord God. We thank you for the unseen things when you're working them out, Lord God. If it wasn't for you, Lord God, who knows where we would be at, Lord God. So we thank you for that. Lord God, and just come into our hearts this morning, Lord God. Our minds, our bodies, open up our minds, our, bo our bodies, our hearts, our, our ears, Lord God, to receive your message, to receive your word, Lord God, to change us, to rearrange us, and to transform us, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We, 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 we want to hear from you. We want to receive from you this morning, Lord God. Receive healing, receive everything, that you have for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we are going to Matthew 25. Okay. Matthew chapter 25 verse 14. And this is the parable of the talents. Okay. Verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his servants and delivered his goods to them. And to one he gave five talents, to another two talents, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded, them, traded with them and made another five talents. And likewise, he who had received two gained two more also. But he who had received one went and dug it in the ground and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of the house servant, the Lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them. Okay, so we're going to stop it real quick. All right, and then we're going to read on. So what is happening here? This Lord, this master called his servants, and there's three of them. There's three servants. To one, to the first one, he gave five talents, okay? So the equivalent of money today, okay? Now, if you go and search it up, this is a lot of money. This is like millions of dollars. So to one, he gave uh, uh, um, five talents, okay? To the other one, two. And to the last one, he gave one, okay? And you say, well, that's not fair. Listen, life is not fair, okay? But look at what they did. So one of the guys, all right, or women, you, you, you fit yourself in this description, all right? You have to, whenever we read these parables, you have to fit yourself in this scenarios. What would you do if God handed you five or two or even one of these talents, okay? Now keep that in mind. So to the first one, he gave five. He went out, he invested it, got five more. That's 50%, right? Uh, 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 I mean, that's 100% back. He, he had five, he gained five more, all right? That's 100% uh, investment that he got back, that he received, all right? To the other one, he had two. He went out, did the same thing. He doubled it. These guys doubled what uh, 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 the master gave them. To the last one, he hid it. 
He had one, one talent, okay, that he gave. He hit it. Now, watch this. Watch what's, what's happening here. Verse 20. So he who had received the five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, so, so, so the masters come back. Okay, this is what's happening. The masters come back. And watch what, what they're saying. So he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents, saying, Lord, you delivered to me five talents. Look. I have gained five more talents besides them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Of your Lord. And then it goes, He also had, who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. His Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over, over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Then he who had received the, the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew you, you to be a hard man, reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. And I was afraid. And went and hid your talent in the ground. Look, there you have what, it is, what is yours. But his Lord answered and said to him, You wicked and lazy servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown and gathered where I have not scattered seed. You ought to have deposited my money with the bankers. And at my coming, I would have received back my own with interest. Therefore, take the talent from him, and give it to him who has ten talents, for everyone who has more will be given, and he, and he will be, have abundance. But from whom, but from him who does not have, even what he has will be taken away, and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness. There will be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. So, this is what happened. So. The, like I said, the one that had five came back to the Lord, said, hey, I doubled it. The one that had two came back to the Lord, said, here, I doubled it. Now, look at what the Lord is saying here. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Right? I can trust you with a little bit, so I'm going to give you even more. Right? That's what, that's what God is saying. I trusted you with some. You came back. You did good. I'm trusting you with more. And the same thing he, he said to the one that, that had the two talents. Notice here that God is not making them compete. He is not saying, okay, this guy got more. This guy got a little bit less. No, no, no. That's not the point. And, and, and look at here. You can look at somebody and say, well, I got two talents, Lord. Why did he get five? See, don't worry about what everybody else has. God is saying, don't worry about what everybody else has. Worry about what talents God has given to you. Work with what the talents that God gave to you. Multiply those talents. It is our job to multiply our talents. It is not strictly talking about just money. This is talking about the talents that, that God has gifted in you. The talents that he has provided to you. The ability that you have inside of you to do great things. Touching many lives. See, this is more than just money. This is soul winning. This is making a difference in this world. This is making, uh, 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 working with what you have. And being prosperous with it. Now, I'll give you an example. One person can look at a pile of wood and say to themselves, hmm, what am I going to do with this pile of junk? Another person can look at the same pile of wood and think of endless opportunities to build things. 
So, in the same sense, don't look at your problems, don't look at uh, 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 the things that are happening to you, don't play that victim mentality and say, well, I only, I only got two talents. I mean, that person has five. That person can sing. That person can preach. That person can, can do carpentry. That, I, no, no, no. Listen, look at the endless opportunities that God has given you. Those are your talents. That to each his own, to each his own ability, right? That's what the word said. So you got to look deep down in your heart and say, okay, God, open up my, my ears, my mind, my heart and everything to see the opportunities in my life instead of complaining about the things that I don't have. Ah, yes, God, right? Because we all have a tendency to look at somebody that's richer than us or somebody that's driving a, a nicer car and say, ah, oh, man, I wish I had that. But no, 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 no. See, he might have those five talents. You might have two talents. Or maybe you just have that one talent. But work with what you have and double it. And when you do, God will bless you even more because you were faithful with some little things, God is going to make you faithful over bigger things. Thank you, Jesus. I'm preaching this to myself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes, I received that one talent. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God. I received that one talent. I will do good with that one talent or that two talent or that five talent. Don't look at somebody else's. Look at what God gave you, to you. It is not a competition amongst the Christians. It is not a competition of who can do something better. It is how faithful you're going to be with what God entrusted you. With the people that God entrusted you in your life. How faithful are you going to be to love them, to nurture them, to uproot them, to help them out, to do those things, right? Thank you, Jesus. Now to the last one, look at what he did. The other two did great, right? But the last one hid the talent. He hid it. He was afraid, he said. I hid the talent. And look at what God referred to him. He said, what did he say? Watch this. Verse 26. You wicked and lazy servant, right? Right? He called him a wicked and lazy servant. To, other, to the other ones, he said, well done, my good and faithful servant. To this one, he said, you wicked and lazy servant. What does that mean? I have this talent of preaching the word to you. It would be a dishonor if I did not do it. Right? Right? If I just sat and said, oh, God, somebody else can do it. Let them do it. I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. No, 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 no. God gave to each their own. God gave you something of a talent to you. Whatever it is, it is your job to go out and make a difference in this world, to make a difference in this life. And God, see, God opens the doors, God presents the opportunities, but it is up to you on how successful you are because he can't make you go through the doors. It's how hard you work with what God has given to you. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. There's people in wheelchairs that work harder than people out there that have two feet that work. <laughs> See? Work with what God has given to you, your ability, your talents, your specialty. It is yours. God gave it to you. Now, produce. Ah, Produce in the name of Jesus. Rise up in the name of Jesus. God is calling you 
today to make a difference in this world. Don't worry about what you don't have. Don't worry about how many other talents the next person has. Worry about what God has blessed you with and make it an abundant blessing. Create something with it. Don't think, oh, well, I only have this. That's an excuse. That's what this guy did. He made an excuse and he hid his talent. Hmm. I want to be that servant that, that when, when I'm dead and rising into heaven and God sees me, well done, my good and faithful servant. Right? Thank you, Jesus. See, how successful you are in this life depends on how hard you work with your talents. It depends on you. This is the story. Right? Life, don't say, well, life is not fair. Life is not fair. Okay? God never said it was going to be easy. But he did promise to be with you until the, the end. He did promise he was going to open doors that no man can shut. He promised you opportunities, right? He gave you talents for those opportunities. Now go and do something with it. See, there's, there's, there's painters out there. There's construction workers. They can build great things. They build people's homes, their dream homes. They build pe people's buildings, their dream buildings, right? There's singers out there. With that's their talent, right? And they can, they can uplift people. There's personal trainers out there that are changing people's lives, right? That's their talent. Now, understand this, though, that those same talents people can use for evil. And the same singer can use it for the devil. Right? That carpenter can trick people and take their money. So be a good steward like these. God is saying, be a good steward for what I have given you, what I have, I, I, I have blessed you with. Be a good steward. Make a difference in other people's lives. You never know the difference that you're making in somebody else's life. The impact that it will have. You might think it's a small little impact, but God is producing it to be big. Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. So, if you're lazy, whatever talent you have will be taken and given to someone else to use it. If you're not producing with your talent, if you have uh, uh, just hid your talent, your God-given talent, there's somebody else that's going to get that reward. I believe a lot of churches today, because they weren't producing with what God had given them, they weren't feeding the people their bread. They weren't feeding them their nutritious bread. They were just giving them junk food. And I believe that's why some churches are hurting today. So if that's you, pastor, get back to it. Get back to the root of God. I don't know who that was for, but that's somebody. Don't give them junk food. Give them bread. Give them God's bread. The nutrition. Amen. I know they want junk food, but give them bread. See? God is saying, don't play it safe. Take risks. Don't play it safe in this life. Go out and take a risk on your dreams, on your visions, on your goals. Because what God has put in your heart, he has put those goals, those visions, those dreams inside of you to produce and multiply. 
But understand, whatever God has given you is for good. It's never for evil. It's never for personal evil gain. It's always to help others. Now, what am I saying? Can you make a living off of it? Yes, you can make a living off of it. But don't swindle, right? Don't be a snake. Don't cheat people. Do it the right way. Do it by helping others. Do it by changing others, other people's lives. Amen? So whatever God has given to you, don't be lazy. Do good with it and not evil. Multiply it and prosper. And God will say, well done, my good and faithful servant. Amen. I hope this message blessed you. I hope this message, message encouraged you. And share it. And uh, uh, we'll have the website. Scrolling somewhere right here. Right here, somewhere. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll be there. Maybe it won't. But go take a look at the website. Check it out. Get the other episodes uh, and be blessed by it. All right? Uh, but before we go, let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you, Lord God, and just uplift us, Lord God. We want to be faithful and good servants to what you have entrusted us with, Lord God. So help us to produce, Lord God. Help us to produce in our, in our lives, Lord God, in our families, Lord God, in our loved ones, Lord God, in our jobs, Lord God, that we will multiply every blessing that you have given to us, Lord God, that we will multiply every talent, Lord God, that we will be good and faithful servants, Lord God. And Lord God, right now, Touch that person that, that, that's sick in and, 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 and her bed, Lord God, right now. Reach her right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Begin to thank him. Begin to worship him. Begin to, to, to just believe and trust him that he is healing you. Begin to claim it right now in the name of Jesus. That breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I don't know who that was for. But begin to worship him and thank him for what he's about to do in your life. We thank you, Lord God, and change our hearts, Lord God. Rearrange us. Lord, we want to be your good and faithful servants in your precious name. Amen, amen. God bless you. See you again till the next one. God bless.